Welcome to the how-to video for importing trajectories and perforations into Builder. In this video, we will go through the process of importing trajectories and perforations into Builder in order to define your well. The first thing we're going to do is actually import the well trajectories. And in order to do this, you can navigate to the Wells and Recurrent section in the tree view. Click on the arrow besides Wells and Recurrent. Hover over Well Trajectories. And then click on Well Trajectories. So now, the window that opens up is the Well Trajectory Import Wizard, and it helps make the process of importing these trajectories much easier. In the first step of the wizard, you can select the type of trajectory file that you're going to be importing. So here, if I click on the drop-down, you can see that there's a lot of different file types, and the file type that's going to be selected will vary depending on the program that the trajectory was exported from or the way it was created. So there's all sorts of different options for the file type, and in this case, I'm going to select the table format. For the file units, the XY coordinates and the measure depth in this trajectory file is in meters. So I'm going to specify the units to be meters. If your units are different, you can easily specify that here. For the actual file itself, I'm going to select it here by clicking on this option and selecting the file imex underscore trajectories.wdb and then clicking open. So that's the first step of the wizard. I'm going to click Next to move on to the next step. And in the second step, this is where you specify which trajectories that you'd like to import into your model. So for example, if I only wanted to import just my well 12 and my well 14, I can just select those two off, and only those two trajectories will be imported. In this case, however, I'd like to import all my trajectories. So I'm just going to hit Select All, and then click Next to move on to the last step of the import. So in the last step, this is where you specify if you want to change the well name to be something different than what's specified in the trajectory file, or if you want to specify multilateral trajectories, this can be done in the last step of the wizard. So to do all of this, you can click on the second column, and then for example, if you'd like to change the well name for well 10, you can click on the row for well 10, and then click on the option here. Here, I can easily specify to change to a custom name and change the name to be well 10. And now when I click OK, the trajectory name has been updated and now this well will be referred to as well 10. And this can individually be done for every single well. In the event that you had multilateral trajectories, you can also specify that here by again clicking on the same option. And at the bottom, you can specify what the parent trajectory name is. So if there was a parent trajectory that this trajectory is to be attached to, you can easily specify that here. In this case, however, there are no multilateral trajectories. So I'm going to click Cancel. And then I'll click Finish to finish the import process. And now, as you can see, all the trajectories have been imported. So if I change my view to a 3D view, all my trajectories' locations are visible. And if I was to actually click on 3D Properties and increase the transparency of my grid, I can see inside my reservoir and see where all the trajectories are located. And I can see what each trajectory looks like for every single well. Now that the trajectories have been imported, we can also import the well perforations into Builder. To do this, again, navigate to the Wells and Recurrent section in the tree view. Click on the arrow besides Wells and Recurrent hover over well trajectories, and this time select trajectory perforation intervals. Here, there are two different ways you can actually perforate your trajectories. If you don't have any well perforation data to import, you can click on Quick Perf and tell Builder how exactly you'd like to perforate your trajectory. You can choose to perforate all the grid layers. You can select specified grid layers that you'd like to perforate or you can just specify to perforate the entire well path. 
So this is the easiest way to perforate your trajectories if you don't have any data. In this case, however, I have my well perforation information to import. So I'll click Cancel here and instead click Read File. Here, I'm going to select my perforation file, imex underscore perforations.perf, and change the file unit to SI. But if your file unit was field or lab, you can easily specify that here. So I'm going to select SI. And when I click Open, all the perforation information has been brought in. So I can just click Apply and OK. And all my perforations are added in for every single well. And to visualize this, we're already in the 3D view. So I can zoom in on any of these wells by scrolling in. And I can see for the trajectory where all the perforations nodes are located. So it's quite easy to see where all the perforations are. To actually see which blocks have been perforated for each well, you can also just expand the well section here in the wells and recurrence section. Expand whatever well you're interested in, for example, well one and then double click on the perforation tab. Here, if you go to the perforations tab in this window, you can see the UBA or the user block address for every perforated block. And for each block, you have the corresponding well index information that you can use if you are doing any sort of history match or if you would like to change that value, you can easily do so here. So I'm going to click Apply and OK to exit this window. So this is how you import trajectories and perforations into Builder. Thank you for watching.